Often we can obtain functions f of x, g of x, and so on, but are interested in something based off of these functions. For example, sums, products, quotients, and compositions. We can apply the appropriate derivative rules to find information about the derivatives. And it's helpful to remember undefined, zero, positive, negative. And while this doesn't make for a rousing school chant, it is actually very useful when considering, well, pretty much everything in mathematics. So for example, let's say we have two graphs, but are interested in the derivative of their product function. So since h of x equals f of x g of x, then we can use our product rule to find an expression for the derivative. And if I want to find the derivative at negative 4, I can substitute in those values. Now, because our ability to read the graph accurately is limited, we're actually going to focus on the sign of the values. So let's take a closer look at the graph. So we see that at x equals negative 4, f of negative 4 is 0. f prime of negative 4, remember that's the slope of the line tangent to the graph. So let's draw that tangent line. And we see the tangent line slopes downward, and so f prime of negative 4 is negative. g of negative 4, because our graph of y equals g of x is below the x-axis at this point, g of negative 4 is negative. If we draw the line tangent to the graph of y equals g of x at negative 4, We see that it slopes upward, and so g prime of negative 4 is positive. And so we know that h prime of negative 4, well that's 0 times a positive number plus a negative number times a negative number. Now 0 times a positive number will just be 0, and the product of two negatives is positive, and so h prime of negative 4 is positive positive. How about h prime of 8? Well again, that's going to be f of 8 times g prime of 8 plus f prime of 8 times g of 8. And if we look on our graph at x equals 8, we notice the following. f of 8 is positive. We'll draw the line tangent to the graph of y equals f of x at x equals 8. And so this tells us that f prime of 8 is also positive. g of 8 is positive. And g prime of 8, remember that's the slope of the line tangent to the graph. And if we draw our tangent line, we see that it's horizontal. And so g prime of 8 is 0. And so h prime of 8. Well, that'll be a positive number times 0 plus a positive number times a positive number. A positive number times 0 is just going to be 0, and the product of two positives is going to be positive, and so h prime of 8 is positive. And if we look at h prime of 12, we need to know about f of 12, g prime of 12, f prime of 12 and g of 12, and so at x equals 12, we note that, and so h prime of 12 is a positive number times a negative number plus a negative number times a positive number. Now the product of a positive and negative is going to be a negative number, and so h prime of 12 is going to be the sum of two negative numbers. And if you add two negative numbers, you get a negative number, and so h prime of 12 is negative. We can also consider compositions of functions. So suppose the graph of y equals f of x is shown. If h of x is the log of f of x, we can find the sine of h prime of 1 and h prime of 3. So h prime of x is 
which means we want to know something about f of x and f prime of x. So at x equals 1, we see that f of 1 is positive. And if we draw the tangent line at x equals 1, we see that it looks like, and that tells us that f prime of 1 is positive. And so h prime of 1 is 1 over a positive number times a positive number, so h prime of 1 is positive. Similarly, at x equals 3, we see that f of 3 is positive. We see that f prime of 3 is negative. And so h prime of 3 is 1 over a positive number times a negative number. So h prime of 3 is negative.